Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So this morning we have a new pairing. Now, I say new pairing, but we've paired these in the past, okay? We've compared these, and yes, we've done a video in this same fashion, okay? Uh, except for this time, we have different results. So let's get into it. So this morning what we have is the MS311, which is kind of known as a turd saw, just to be honest, they are. Uh, they, uh, they're so stopped up from the factory, uh, not only just with the muffler, but with uh, several of the EPA stuff. And then you have the Echo uh, 590 Timberwolf, which is a favorite around this shop, okay? And so, uh, so this is the thing. In our last pairing of these two saws, the uh, 590 Timberwolf outperformed 311. Okay, so it made me go, hmm, okay, you know, what could I do to make this 311 pep up a little bit? So just be honest with you, what I did is I went with a aftermarket carb, okay, because this one has the limiters and I didn't want to start doing uh, Frankenstein type stuff to this OEM carburetor, okay? So I took the carburetor off and I put the OEM, a uh, aftermarket rather on it. And it, of course, it doesn't have any uh, limiters and that kind of stuff on it and uh and super tuned it and uh see what else we do to it basically uh messed with the jets just a bit and we're going to do more reporting on that later when i fully get my concept down of what i've done to this carburetor completely because i don't want to and the reason that is is because i don't want to encourage somebody to mess up their oem carburetors okay guys so stay tuned with that uh now let's be honest, the difference I did really isn't enough to go in and uh, chance messing up your carburetors, guys. So we're going to uh, stick with that for the moment and we'll get back. In this clip, yeah, it outperformed it by about two or three seconds, which is pretty quick, really. I mean, it really is. Compared, now I wish I had, I've already deleted the footage, but you can go back and see it. It's on, it's here on YouTube. Uh, of these guys running separate. That was before I did uh, uh, same time comparison split screens. Uh, That's before I was doing it. And so, uh, but you guys can go back and check that video out of uh, the last time we paired these two saws. And clearly the Timberwolf was outperforming the 311. Okay. It's not so no more. So let's go ahead and cut to that clip and we'll talk about it some more. have it guys pretty good performance really uh compared to where we were last time uh, like i said i would really like wish i had the before and after of this I, I just don't i do it's back there in my videos here on youtube so you can go check it out and i suspect you could screen rec i could screen record it and figure out the uh i believe it was a different log though so it'd be kind of hard to compare but these guys were one cut after another okay one cut i believe which one was first same size part of the log though. I believe uh, I cut with the 311 first and then did the, did the 590 Timberwolf, okay? Now, let's get into this before you guys start arguing here in the comments, okay? Please don't do that. Uh, I still would prefer the, the Timberwolf by far, okay? Um, I mean, this is still carrying the limiters, okay? And uh, could be tuned, uh, it's still not reaching its potential. Okay, and they both have the same muffler mod, the opening up of the can. Okay, uh, I still would prefer the Timberwolf. Okay, in in my shop, it's a it's a shop favorite around here, and uh, yeah, matter of fact, uh, not only for this reason, my my father bought me that saw, and so it's kind of a favorite around here. But look how dirty they are, guys. You guys will not see that in my shop very often, but they are dirty. Uh, don't get me wrong. I like the 311, but, and we're going to do, and I have saved the footage for this one, the way it's running with this aftermarket on here right now, which is a Moto All, Moto All, Moto All carburetor on that's on it currently. The OEM carburetor should outperform the aftermarket, no doubt, hands down, okay? Uh, but the configuration which I have this carburetor set up right now, uh, if this continues to work out, I'm going to remove the limiters off the, the OEM carburetor and do it to this one, okay? And it should even do better, okay? Uh, but 
it intrigued me. I and now no port work, no nothing. Everything else is is exactly how this saw came from the factory. Okay, uh, except for the muffler. So I wanted to get into the carburetor and start there. My buddy over in Edmond at the uh, at the saw shop was basically saying, explained to me about how these carburetors work, and that's where I wanted to start when it comes to how to make this turd saw better. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love steels. Matter of fact, when I first started this whole saw journey, I was really heavily into Husqvarna. Okay, still am. It's my 372 is gonna be hard to ever be for my all around favorite saw. However, I started doing a lot of steel clones. Okay, I'm really liking the steel product. Uh, of course, it's clones of it. And I've got about, with this one including, I've got like included rather, I've got Got like 10 OEM steels, okay? So, I'm not hard on steel. I love steel to death. Uh, actually becoming a big, I'm in the middle of uh, getting ready, or not in the middle of, getting ready to start a, a, three, a 362C project, uh, which is basically a 311 with Mtronics, basically, right? Um, uh, but the same, same top end and same CC. Uh, one's more of a pro saw is really the difference uh, from my understanding. If you guys know it, throw it down in the comments. Uh, but so there you have it. Uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, something I'm dealing with right now, working with with this 311 saw. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, things like that intrigue me. You know, steel is kind of like the Hemi. You know, you got more horsepower per, per cubic inch. You know, the Hemi was famous for this, right? Well, steel also has more horsepower per cc, they just do, uh, than a lot of pro products. And there's, 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 there's a lot of engineering that went into this. So, uh, I'm not against steel, um, but am I still a Husky fan? Oh, you bet. Uh, I still favor them? Yes, sir. And so, uh, I'm not against them. Not at all. Uh, so, uh, love all chainsaws around here at the uh, saw shop. And, uh, but just wanted to give you guys a quick illustration of what I was currently working on as far as some stuff like that. Getting ready to start the 660 Neotech project today. Uh, we had some medical stuff go on in the family yesterday, and so it kind of gave us a hiccup, so it's a late start for today. Um, uh, everything is well, so uh, no fret there in the family. Everybody's fine. Um, but... Uh, so we have some things to pay attention to so but we uh, uh, Got to bed late last night. I was supposed to be at work today. Didn't couldn't make work today. And so a little late start on our video and uh, But I appreciate you guys stopping by um, Again guys, I want to encourage you guys something again, especially after my uh, What happened last night if you have a dream Go chase it life is short guys Whatever your dream is get out there and live it Get out there and live it. We are living our best life, and I encourage everybody to do the same. Um, get out there and make those moments. It's not your destination. It is most generally and factually your destination, guys. Okay? Uh, the journey uh, is everything it has to do in our life, guys. The smiles in between, everything that we're doing, the interaction with you and your family, the, the things that you're doing, those moments, those key wonderful moments. Go out there and get them, guys. All right? Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. So as always, stay safe.